Hello everybody, my name is Schizo Dad, and today I'm going to be showing you how to port over an existing Minecraft world to your Bedrock server. So, let's get into it. Now, we're going to open up Minecraft, and we are going to select a world that we want to port over. Um, in order to do this, you're going to need a valid copy of Minecraft Bedrock. You are going to need a Minecraft server, whether it be on a Linux distribution or a Windows distribution or anything like that. And you need to have 7-zip or a, the ability to unzip archives. Um, WinZip, like the, the built-in unzipper or the decompression stuff that is default with Windows isn't going to work with this. So let's just wait for Minecraft to load up. You just load the resource packs like it always does for some weird reason. And then we're going to kick play. And we're going to do my Schizo Dad 2 world that I was doing on a few lives on TikTok. If you want to hit me up on TikTok, go ahead. Um, I go live every so often making content and all that fun stuff. All right, everybody. I went ahead and placed a sign that said this is a test right here. And my current position is 2, 122, negative 435. So now we are going to save and quit. You can make any kind of benchmark you want. You can make a house, you can make a sign, you can just put a block of wool if you wanted to, but you have to have a benchmark in order to check that it worked. So now we're gonna export the world. And what I'm gonna do, what you should do, is go to your Minecraft server directory. And for me, that will be my Minecraft server test worlds export now you'll get this fun little xbox sound we get two of them to show that it exported correctly and now we're done with that so now go to the directory where your server is so for me that's d drive minecraft server world test and server so now you should already have a bedrock level installed because you started your server but you want to port your new world over so now you right click on the Schizo Dead 2, it should be the MC World file. Um, Minecraft can't read this. Minecraft can't read this. So what we want to do is we want to right click, go to 7-zip, open archive. And before we do anything, we want to go back into our parent directory and we want to copy and paste. So we have a copy of our bedrock level. So now we go back to 7-zip and we can extract ellipses scroll all the way down worlds bedrock level the original bedrock level i click okay okay and say yes to all what you just did is you overwrote the files inside of the bedrock level to the new world that you wanted to import this is all the original stuff as you can see the level name is bedrock level but in this bedrock level the level name is schizo dad 2 which is going to display on your server list when you run your server. So now you can just get rid of the MC world file because you don't really need it. And then what you want to do is start up your bedrock server. It's going to take a little bit to load because it's reading a new DB file, which is what holds the binaries to create your world. So what you want to do is just wait for that to open. And then when it starts running, you can head on to your Minecraft client and load it and load your server and the world will be there. One thing that I do have to note is that what I'm doing is kind of unorthodox. Usually you don't run Minecraft, the Minecraft client and the server on the same computer. If you do it, there's a loopback function that you have to code into your API. And I can go over that in a different video if, if people comment enough to have me do it. So now that the Bedrock server is running, the name of the server is um, Bedrock Level. So now we are going to minus, minus, and we are going to open Minecraft again. This is where the benchmark or the waypoint test comes into play. In order for this to work, like I said, on the same computer, you need to have a loopback function allowing you to access things on your own computer through the internet and I can show you how to do that in a different video 
So you just click play, let Minecraft load up like it usually does, and I'll be right back after that happens. Alright everybody, we're back on Minecraft, so we're going to click play. And obviously, you see that the dummy server is there, and look at that. Our level name is SchizoDad2. That's already a promising sign. So you can go ahead and load this up. It's going to take a second to load because this is your first load into a world. And then you have to have yourself OP'd for this. You have to have yourself OP'd for this. So if you don't know how to do that, head over to your server console and type OP your username once you log in. If you're not logged in, it's not going to work. So then what you want to do is you want to type teleport at S for self and teleport yourself to your waypoint. So mine was 2, 122, negative 435. Now it's gonna take us there, and there you have it. You just poured it over a Minecraft world into your server. Congratulations. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's gonna be more to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.